journey is uh, turned into a pretty tough one actually. It's... So here we are still in Marmaris, pretty much contemplating on how to get home. I guess we Kerry and I have done that for months and months and months. With the coronavirus, it has made it very, very hard. It's been fun, but it started to get very stressful. Of, of you know, really, I mean, Marmaris in Turkey, and we should have been home by now. But uh, well, pretty much, at, at the at the least, getting ready to cross the Pacific to get back to Australia, and it just never happened. Um, with countries closing, and opening, and closing, and there's quite a few Australians and Kiwis over here, um, all in the same sort of um, same boat. And um, yeah, it's been hard. Um, I think the sailing community in general has, has really suffered. Um, now, unfortunately, Kerry's got, gone home. Um, she's got other, yeah, her, her sister's been very ill. And, uh, and it's really worn its way on her, it's worn, it wore its way on both of us. It was, it, it was the stress of all that and trying to get someone home from Europe is an absolute nightmare. Um, an absolute nightmare, it's flights, there's so many people stuck here. We managed to get Kerry out to get her home. Um, and it was stress, it was 24 hours of stress trying to get her on this plane. She needs to be with her family. Um, and that's totally understandable. So from here on out, I'm single handing. Um, and I'm not quite sure what to do myself here. Can I get home? Um, what's the best way to go home? Um, yeah, it's, 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 all, it's all difficult and uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Um, I've spoken with friends that are uh, split around everywhere, uh, whether to get crew or leave the boat here on the hut and try and get home and that's you know, get a ticket home, I don't know. I'd have to wait quite a while. They're dribbling people back to Australia. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, Australia's a very hard country, one of the hardest countries in the world to get into, and I understand that we've been done well at, at home um, with the corona. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a head boggle at the moment. Um, or do I sell, sell the boat and see if I can get home and wait for another day, maybe when this is all calmed down. I can't see it calming down for a long time. I mean, at, at, Turkey went into a lockdown just, just recently. Um, it opens up the 1st of July, everything's just opening up. Um, like anywhere in the world, you know, the, 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 uh, people losing businesses, and, you know, yeah. but they're opening this country up. You can get the inoculation, uh, the uh, coronavirus injections. Um, Kerry and I tried the other day, we went to the hospital. We have got uh, residency cards. But we are foreigners and they, they have to look after the Turkish people first, which is fair enough. So, um, unfortunately, at the moment, that's just out of the question getting that. So we're still running around <clears throat> un without having the injections. I know I've met people that are coming in from different parts of Europe now. They've all had their injections and slowly if you're in... You've had the you carry the certificate. You you, you, you can move around quite e easily. But um, for us, for a lot of us sailors that are here, it's be quite a while before we can do that. So everywhere you go, you quarantine. 
Um, it's changed the plans for everybody. It's you know, it's it's all been fun. It's been good, and but it's come to the crunch that um, you know. Financially, it's, a, it's, it's sort of killed us as well, you know, it, it's, it's made it difficult. Um, like I say, we should have been nearly on our way home, or very, very, the last stretch to go home. And basically, from the beginning in Greece, when we were locked, locked down in Greece, so we could never get back to the boat, um, you know, um, I had to stay in accommodation, um, we just had to deal with it. Um, we just really had to deal with it. And we've just been through the winter here. That was absolutely free, absolutely freezing. And we tried really hard to stay on the anchor, but it just got too cold. So we went into marinas that cost a fortune. Then you got your normal thing that you do, boat, boat breaks down, fixes. You never, never got, you never ever got your hand out of your pocket when you when you own a boat. Anyone that's got a boat knows that. But that's all part and package of it. But unfortunately, this, it, pretty much the COVID-19 has, has made it difficult, very difficult, very difficult. And um, yeah, so the. I guess it's what I call my first day of solo sailing today. I'm not actually going anywhere. Just to, yeah, I've got some. I've got to do a bit of cleaning on the boat and sort a few things out and just get to grips with what's going on. And uh, yeah, I will get back out to you. Lovely view. Absolutely stoked. I just got the guys from Ray Marine. They, they haven't got a dinghy to come and see me. I went alongside and got them and picked them up and went out and did a trial just to see what was going on with my um, autopilot because I'm going to really need it single handing back to Australia. And uh, we sorted the problems out. Um, it wasn't major either. It was, it was something I didn't understand. Um, I do now. Very well do now. And um, yeah, and, that, and uh, it was, uh, I thought it was going to be some mad expense and it was pretty, pretty good. So um, that's all sorted. Uh, I know for future reference how to fix a couple of things on it. Um, there's a lot of things on boats that it's all right sailing, we all go sailing, but when you've got your own boat, you need to learn. As I was told by my magic surveyor when I first bought the boat, you really need to learn how to fix things and it um, takes a while. I've got lots of things stripped out inside that I'm doing at the moment. But it's so hot and humid, I'm having a break from it. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful out here. Yeah, marmorous. And in a couple of days, I'm gonna head further down south into Turkey. There's a few places I wanna see before I leave. Um, waiting on some equipment. And then, um, yeah, I'll return here and then I'll um, start to load up and with fuel and all the rest of the things that I need and supplies and that and then, um, yeah, we'll make the crossing. It's all happening today. The boat is upside down. Motor's going, just charging the batteries. Uh, got a generator that broke it. That's broken down on me. I'll just get a new spark plug, fix that up. So, but I am in Marmus at the moment. Uh, Kez is up in Chesmere. She's getting stuff ready up there. Um, I'm going to sail the boat back to Chaos. And um, yeah, the journey's come to an end for now. We've, we've got to return home. Actually, just take all the flags down, take the risk. Don't want to get there. Yeah, you see what happens. But, uh, yeah, 
pretty knocked up about it. Um, just going to leave uh, Hobo on the, on the hard for a while and maybe you know, think, hopefully things will get better. The COVID's caused so much trouble as well. It's just, you know, it's been hard. I reckon all the sailors out there, all the people on boats have had a really bad time. You know, had a good time too, but it's just so awkward and everything is just frustrating. Trying to throw the towel in for a while, I guess. Breaking down I do because I wanted to get this boat home to Australia now but there's too many things closed to me you know and, and single handed I'm going to single hand it back to Australia but I'm not sort of really equipped up for that and I need, I need quite a bit of gear to put on the boat really to do that I'm not, not going to be stupid and take chances and we should have been home by now I never expected to be caught out so long but uh, yeah it's time to pull the pig it is what it is, and uh, we'll work it out. But I'm going to get into this and get this tidy, you know, because I've got to set sail tomorrow, and she is in a mess. I've got everything upside down. So, um, talk soon.